선생님 안녕하세요 여러분 유림입니다 오늘은 제가 사자성어를 준비를 했어요 우리 함께 사자성어를 처음 하는 것 같은데 사자성어를 배워보도록 하겠습니다 I prepared um, four characters idiom this time um, Four characters idiom is called 사자성어 사자성어 in Korean which means like some phrase in four characters and well it's the first time i i guess it's the first time i introduced 사자성어 for you guys and originally it's written in it could be written in chinese and well some of my foreign friends asked me are there any like similarities or like is it similarities between among such languages like chinese japanese and korean i guess that's because we're kind of like neighbors <laughs> or like is it easy to learn Chinese or Japanese for me as a native Korean speaker but in my opinion I guess it's not really um, easy because we are using different characters and it sounds so different and well yes and um, it's enough it's kind of inevitable that we are kind of influenced by those countries because we were in history we we're kind of in under an influence of those countries but um speaking of languages or like learning such languages i guess it's not so much easy for us like compared to others like such like when italians learn like spanish or like when like people who speak in spanish learn like portuguese I heard that's really like easy for them I mean like it's it's a relative thing but I heard it's easy but I guess for Koreans when we're when we learn like Chinese or Japanese there could be a little bit of like connection or like similarities or it could be easier compared to other like compared to others but I guess it's still like harder than other cases like like as I already mentioned, like Spanish or Italians. But anyway, I prepared the, this one. 전화 위보. 전화 위보. 전화 위보. So like, it could be used like 전화 위보이다. 전화 위보이다. 이다 is like, it is. It is. 이다. So 전화 위보이다. And it means um, as it is as it is written in Chinese. Each character has a meaning, but like just to help you guys understand this meaning of these four characters, idiom. Pa means something like bad things, and po means like fortune, fortune. So Chonhua we book these four characters. This whole thing means um, it's a blessing in disguise blessing in disguise so it means like at the first time you think it's something like bad things happen but later it turns out to be a fortune okay so 전화 위보 전화 위보 which means um, blessing in disguise 전화 위보 okay so when you see or you heard something, some situation like like this one, you can say 전화 위복이네 or like 전화 위복이다. Okay, 전화 위복. I don't know it could be hard for you guys, I guess, but it's a part of our culture and could be like interesting for some of you guys. So I just suddenly wanted to introduce one of my four characters idiom this time. Okay, so thanks for watching me and see you in the next video. Bye!